This is the Iowa Weather Report for Saturday, February 2nd, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At noon today, we have the trough still over the eastern half of the country with some energy coming along the northwesterly flow from Canada, and this is going to bring several chances of a bit of snow this morning, and then again later tonight with the system over the plains, and in between there'll be a few clou there'll be clouds, there'll be maybe a peak of sun, but uh, not really. And then Sunday, that moves off into the Great Lakes, and here comes a little bit of another system over the Dakotas, and that could come through on Saturday or on Sunday night. And temperatures still in the teens and twenties. Then Monday, the that system is now off to the east, and they are still under the auspices of the high pressure to our north, and temperatures still remaining in the well teens and twenties to near thirty. Then Tuesday, another system. This is system number three. This will be mainly over the northeastern counties of the state. And temperatures still remaining seasonal to above in the southwest. And that continues into Wednesday with high pressure just to the east. Winds beginning to switch around to the south at this point. Temperatures 20s northeast to lower to middle 30s south and west. Thursday, another system. This will bring maybe a little bit of snow again across the area, mainly, it looks like about the daytime hours on Thursday, it looks like. Then on Friday, that moves to the east, high pressure overhead again, highs seasonal, seasonally speaking in the 20s to lower to middle 30s south and west, cooler to the north and east. And then we head to a week from today, we have now an upper level feature over the desert, desert southwest, a ridge over the east or the southeastern part of the country and another building into the Pacific Northwest. And this system over the south and west will kick out a low pressure over Kansas and this is going to bring warm air in so we could see some rain, some freezing rain or sleet or snow. It's too early to determine that at this time. A couple days after that on February the 13th, well here comes another trough again over a good deal of the country, at least the center three quarters of the country with some energy to the east and other to the north and west and it looks like we'll be back in this pattern of a northwesterly flow with little clipper systems coming through and we'll have one off to our east and another one looking to make its run over the Dakotas and Montana and at the end of the forecast on the 17th well look at that another trough big vortex over eastern Canada and New England states a bit of a ridge on a cutoff feature over Idaho and if this is right, this would dump more cold air at us again. Some lake effect snow over the lakes as the low is moving through the Canadian Maritimes and another system moving into western Canada, and we're still cold. Here's the satellite image from last evening. We had a few mid and high level clouds across the middle part of the country with the disturbance moving through producing a little bit of snow. Another one to the north and west that will be bringing us snow later tonight. The March warning map from last evening, well, fairly quiet across the country. Some winter weather issues across the east, some freeze warnings across the southeast and the Florida Peninsula, and some lake effect snow warnings and advisories in the Great Lakes. QPF chart precipitation over the next five days through Wednesday evening at 6 o'clock, showing some well, light amounts of precipitation across the Great Lakes and into the upper Midwest, across the south, and a little bit over the Pacific Northwest coast.